Hi, this is How to Get Your Shit Together with me, Sue Wright. So the title of this podcast is How to Be Normal. Well, I'm going to answer that in a very, very short space of time and say there is no such thing as normal. There isn't. Um, And this podcast came about for several different reasons. Um, Firstly, I guess me, uh, me for one, you couldn't class me as normal. But then what the bloody hell is normal in the first place? Everybody is unique and everybody is, is, is individual and different in their own special way. And that's fine. Um, I guess if you were to analyse me, if you were to get me tested or whatever you want to do, then you probably would find that maybe I was or on the autistic spectrum, or had Asperger's, or there, there would be something somewhere that you could find if you wanted to. Because I am very focused, I am very very good at getting engrossed in things, and, you know, there, there are lots of my personality traits which could tie in with things on the spectrum of some way, shape, or form. And... People like me and people, you know, other people I know who are similar, I seem to be drawn to people like myself. Um, you know, it, it it's horrible that we're looked at as not being normal because we don't fit the criteria. You know, I have given up really good jobs because it didn't feel right and I wanted to go and do something different. That could be classed as not normal. Um you know, I've got friends who, again, you know, the, the, you know, people like me. I don't do small talk. You know, I can talk to you guys, complete and utter strangers who I will probably never meet. Um, but stick me in a room with people I know and ask me to make small talk, and I hate it, absolutely hate it. Um, so, you know, there are lots of my personality traits that, like I say, you could put on the spectrum in some way, shape, or form. But you know. Everybody, you know, so many people I know you could you could say that about. And it's like, what is the problem with being slightly different? You know, if you don't like it, just go away and don't talk to me. Um, and likewise, if there's somebody else who doesn't seem normal, you know, stop trying to kind of dumb yourself down, I guess is what I'm trying to say. Just be yourself. Because um, being yourself is the most amazing, liberating thing you can do. You know, go with what feels natural for you. Um, if it's not conventional, there's another word that I can't be doing with. If it's not the conventional thing to do, then sod it. You know, maybe we all need to stop being conventional and normal so we can go out and make this world a bigger, brighter place. So that was, I can't actually remember where that came from, why it sprung into my head, but these things do. But it is just, you know, stop dumbing yourself down. It's a, it's a really boring thing to do. You know, let your inner wackiness, if you like, come to the fore. Now, the other reason I thought about this podcast about normal was I was somewhere and I picked up a lanyard, which is represents hidden disabilities. Beautiful, bright green lanyard with yellow sunflowers on. Um, and I thought that's a really good idea. And then I thought, actually, well, it's quite sad in some ways, quite bad sad in some ways as well. Um, Reason being, um, for me personally, I picked one up to put my disabled facilities key on because my physiotherapist said to get one because with the arm injury I've got, some days I really struggle to kind of get in and out of um, jumpers and tops and things. And the shower facilities on campsites can be quite tiny, but the disabled facilities are bigger. And I went into the disabled the other day and, you know, the the physio gave me a key, a, you know, a disabled facilities key. And I went in and I got scowled at by somebody because I dared to look again. I'm going to use the term normal. I looked OK. There looked to be no reason for me to um, be in there. And... You know, it's it's just a bit frustrating. It's like, well, who are, who are you to dictate that, A, I am not able or able to use these facilities, but what does it matter and why does it bother you? You know, and why... The other thing that I think is bad inside is because it feel, there's almost a need to explain yourself. You know, explain that you have 
sometimes the need to be in a bigger space to do something or you need to sit down to um, shower occasionally or you know you can't lift your hand above your head to do something to wash your hair you know there's a need to explain so you know on one hand I thought it was quite a bad idea but then the other hand I thought actually do you know what it's quite funky and it goes back to my being you being an individual you know I'm going to wear my snazzy green lanyard with sunflowers and just go you know what yeah it's it's fine it's cool I don't mind you know I am who I am and at the minute who I am has a bit of a disability um you know and that's fine it's not something to be sneered at or worried about or shy away from or hidden away um you know you know where if you if you need one wear one with pride and say do you know what yeah do you know what i'm rocking this whatever is going on i'm rocking it i've got it and i'm proud to be different and i'm proud to be me the individual so that's my little take on being normal i don't think there is such a thing and i think we should strive to be as completely non-normal if that's a term as you can possibly be just be yourselves be your happy cheerful different quirky wacky woo woo whatever you want to call it selves um and just be true to yourself because at the end of the day that's all that matters is that you're 100 percent true to who you actually are so there you go how to be normal there isn't such a thing you hope you have a good day bye